Today I am talking about the sea scent. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and today I am talking to you about the C scent, the Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician. That is such a mouthful. Uh, anyway, if you guys were unaware, I have recently been studying for this and I am by no, all means not a networking expert. So this is somewhat of a shock to me and to a lot of people because I really had no plans to go for any type of certification. So um, really for me to decide to want to do it really took a lot for me, but it really was a lot easier than I thought to want to do it based on really honestly watching a lot of the IT Pro TV videos because they made wanting to learn a lot easier for me. And I know that just sounds like a shameless plug for them or whatever, but to be quite honest, it's, it's really, it's, I really mean that basically from all of what I have, like from the bottom of my heart, pretty much. Um, I have learned so much from just the, the, you know, probably 20 hours or so of videos combined um, on different things that I've watched from them that I don't know why I haven't really watched their stuff sooner. Um, the way, and I'm going to go right into this right now, because the way that, you know, Ronnie and uh, Don in the CSENT video right here describe the OSI model. And the OSI model is one of the most important things about networking because it really gives you a lot of information on how the layering works and that is really so extremely important to understand how all that stuff works as you're first getting into networking and to understand uh, you know how this process works right so here I can show you kind of what this what the uh, the OSI model is right here um, but the way that they actually describe the OSI model. The way that they explain it to you is done in a way that I have never been really taught before. And I might be kind of weird or whatever, but you know, I've, I've known about the OSI model before. I've, I've been, you know, taught it before, but I don't think I've ever grasped, grasped it before. After watching this video, like I totally, I had a whole new grasp on it like i understood much more of it than i ever i ever did before i could understand all of the layers before you know more than i ever could so i really owe these guys like a lot of thanks aside from you know everything that they do like these guys just describe and explain all of these technologies better than i think anybody ever has i mean i don't know if it's just me but i know that there's a lot of other people who uh, on this YouTube channel, especially who have, you know, watched some of their videos and have said amazing things too. So I know that it's not just me. And as I saw some of the other people on here or on my YouTube channel specifically saying like, yeah, these guys are great. They're amazing. Like I had to watch more videos and everybody's been absolutely right. Like they do a great job on putting their content together. So that's what made wanting to go and get my first certification or really study for my first certification a lot easier because I'm not a person that can really go out and get a book. Like I can't read a book and try to learn technology. That's not the way that I can learn. I cannot do that. Like that, I, that's just not, not me. Like I can watch videos and I can retain a lot of that information, but I still might not grasp all of it, right? There's a lot of people out there that's the same way. Like if, I, if I, I could watch these videos right now and I can get this OSI model and everything and they're gonna go through all of these networking things over here, but I, I don't know how I'm going to learn that, right? How am I actually going to apply like what they're actually telling me in all of these videos? Like I'm, I can watch them all day, I can take notes all day and that's great, but how am I going to apply that to the real world? And this is where their virtual labs come in handy. And I really wish that I had virtual labs way back in the day when I was really getting into IT and really could have been molded, but we didn't have those back in the day. So 
now seeing virtual labs just blows my mind. It literally just blows me away how far IT in general has come that I can literally have a virtual switch at my disposal. So a lot of what they go over in this course, I can actually apply it to the virtual lab. You know, I can, I can understand everything that they're talking about. And in the virtual lab, like they're telling me all of the, all the things that I need to do to configure the switch, you know? Um, and that's amazing. Like I, I'm literally going through um, each step in the switch and it's, it blows my mind. I, I mean, I can't really like go, I, I can't even describe it. I can't even put it into words. And that's really odd for me because I can usually like put my words together pretty well. But I mean, even the guys at work, I'm like, I tell them like I, I virtual labs, like I have you guys, you guys need to check out virtual labs. You guys need to check out this because it's, it's, it's amazing. The virtual labs that they have here, it gives you step-by-step -step process on, you know, what you need to do to get the switch set up, which I'm kind of going over right now. Um, entering the host name for the switch, which that was part of that right now, which is the NYXS1. Uh, entering the password, which is Cisco1. So not only uh, do I think like, you know, the, the, the videos are extremely useful, the, the virtual labs literally speak for themselves. So uh, basically what's going, to, what you guys are going to see from here on out is uh, every few weeks, I am going to put out a video on my progress with studying for the CSENT. So I will go ahead and I will, you know, put out a video on some of what I've learned from the CSENT videos that I've watched from IT Pro TV. I will also in that video um, basically put into detail some of the things that I learned from the virtual lab and just keep you guys up to date on what I am learning about the CSENT because this is something that is going to take me some time to do and I'm actually really, really excited about it. And I'm really excited to learn something new and something that I've never learned before because there's a lot to learn about networking and there's really a ton about it that I don't know, but I know that by going through these courses, I will have a greater understanding uh, from it that I really never had before. So um, I hope you guys really stay tuned and, and check that out. And if you guys have no idea, you guys can check out itpro.tv. If you guys use the coupon code ITCQ30, you can get 30% off of the subscription there. And uh, I'm telling you, it is completely worth it. If you guys see in the comments on other videos that I've done about IT Pro TV, those guys will tell you the same. Uh, there's, I, I know there's lots of people who have signed up for it and have nothing but great things to say about these guys. So, um, I, again, check back for more videos that I do about the CSENT progress because this is going to be a lot of fun. After I do the CSENT videos... Uh, I'm hoping to then go into another series of courses and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might go into the CCNA, but I might go into something completely different. So we'll see what happens as we go into this a little bit further, but stay tuned in a couple weeks uh, for the next video or maybe videos and uh, we'll see what we have then. So as for now, that's all I got for you guys. And of course, as always, take it easy.